deal. Well, back to the EAR 834 clone. Today we're going to solder the resistors in. And I know this is a little different video than I've done in the past, but I've had some viewers say, hey, I really enjoy just watching you slowly work on stuff. It's really relaxing. And so these next two videos are going to be much slower paced. I'm not going to be skipping ahead. Just going to be showing you me working on my bench. And so let's get busy putting this thing together. Okay, so now we're ready to start soldering this board together. One of the key things is to keep the tip clean and have something like this with the little Brillo pad and a little sponge here to clean the, keep the tip clean with. And then the other thing is I really found that this RA Flux solder works awesome. And this MG Chemical stuff works good. It's expensive. I mean, solder's gotten insanely expensive for good solder. But it is what it is. I mean, using, you know, cheap budget solder is going to be really difficult to work with. And you're just going to end up with, you know, problematic solder joints. So I've got the perimeter, the power supply, and these perimeter resistors with a little piece of cardboard underneath them. So we're ready to solder all those in place. And I'm going to turn on my little fan here and solder these up. So that gets all these resistors here on the outer edge done. And so let's go ahead and get these 
ones here in the front of the board ready to solder in. And people might say these ones that are just like signal, we really need to space them away from the board. Not necessarily, but it's just a good practice to do. So I'm going to get these ones down here on the power supply end soldered up, and then we'll come back here and do this little grouping here on the front end, and then we'll work our way down the board and get all these resistors soldered in place. Snip these off. And these little Heiko flush cutters really work great on these circuit boards. Don't try to do this with just like a, a regular pair of dikes that aren't flush cutters because you won't be able to get them cut flush like these can. And you'll have a ugly looking circuit board when you're finished with it. Obviously, it won't affect the way it sounds, but part of this is having it look nice when you're done. And 
Okay. Snip all these off. And this is our LED, which actually let me go ahead and pull that out because we're going to have to modify that a little bit to get it to work like we're going to use it. But I am going to end up reusing this because that's a nice color. Some of them come with blue ones with, or white ones I don't think look good, but these little orange ones do look good. So, And there's a resistor right here that says 33K. I believe I put one that's almost twice that big in there to try to dim the light down a little bit, but you can adjust the brightness of the illumination or the power LED with that resistor right there. So let's go ahead and go in here and put the cardboard under the rest of these and solder up the rest of these resistors. I think I'm going to have enough cardboard strips to to do the rest of them all in one or at least be real close to doing them all. I might be have to flip it over one more time to do these last two. But let's solder these up. And let's zoom in a little bit here for these last few joints.
And let me look here. Yep, it's everything except these last two ones down here. And as you can see, I came in here and reinforced this little area here where the board can be like split apart if you want to separate the power supply. And that's just to give it a little, a little extra reinforcement there. And let's come back here. Trim these off. There we go. Just got to solder these two guys down here on the end. And we are all done soldering our resistors in place. So let's do that real quick and we can finish this up.
And there we go. Here's our board with all of our resistors in place. And these are through holes, so you don't have to worry about like soldering on both sides. And you should see the solder like at least trying to come through the holes. And if you really wanted to be anal, you can come back and solder on this side as well. I may do that before I move on to the capacitors, but we're basically all done with the resistor part of it. So this looks like a great place to wrap up this video. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this little video of me just a little soldering session. I know for me it's very therapeutic or cathartic to just sit down with my soldering iron and just solder stuff. And I was really trying to just enjoy myself while also giving you some relaxing content to just low-key watch. So I hope you all have enjoyed this. If you have, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. Thank you, Patreon folks, and also people that donate to the website. I really appreciate it. And until the next video, have a nice day.